This is Matt DeFelice, partner at U.S. Financial Services. This week, I'd like to talk about four reasons we're having discussions with clients right now about Roth conversions and explain why they may make sense to consider in light of the coronavirus outbreak. So remember, Roth conversions are when you convert funds currently in a traditional IRA or a 401k into a Roth IRA. The money will grow tax deferred, and when you ultimately withdraw the funds, it will be tax free. The price to get there, though, is paying the tax today on any amount you convert. So, reason number one, the recent decline in the stock market. On February 12th, the Dow hit a high of 29,568, and by March 23rd, it had declined to 18,213, uh, which is a 38% drop. Now, to be sure, we've had a nice bounce off those lows, and it remains to be seen if the bottom of this bear market has occurred but lower account values generally mean lower taxes owed on any, any conversions you do. So the jury is still out on what will happen the rest of the year, but it's something to consider depending on what the market does from here. Number two, anyone who will have a lower income in 2020 due to COVID-19 because they were laid off, furloughed, or their business had to shut down for a period of time may find themselves in a lower tax bracket than normal this year. So as the economy opens back up and once you determine where you'll land income wise this year, it may make sense to convert an amount up to the top of your current tax bracket. Number three, capturing the recovery in a tax-free account. The market goes up and down all the time. And historically, all bear markets have been followed by a period of recovery. Uh, but what has varied is the amount of time it takes for that recovery to occur. When you're dealing with retirement accounts in particular, these funds are generally for longer term goals for most people. So let's say in a year or so, we have a vaccine for the virus and the economy becomes fully operational again and the market resumes its upward course. If we convert now when values are down, then all that recovery is now taking place in a tax-free account where you get to keep it all. Remember, we've just paid taxes on lower values. So if you look at the math, if you have a 25% decline in, in account values, it doesn't take a gain of 25% to, to break even. It actually takes a 33% gain to get back to square one. Uh, if you have a 50% decline, it takes a 100% gain to break even. So the question we have to ask is, would we rather have that 33% or 100% recovery to take place in a tax deferred account where we will eventually be taxed on all that growth or in a tax-free account where you keep all of it. And the fourth reason is the current tax code, which is set to sunset in 2026. Many economists are saying that could happen sooner if President Trump does not get reelected. So there are a lot of fiscal challenges in this country that could force tax rates to move higher in the future. I mean, the, the, the three biggest expenses that we have in this country right now are the entitlement program, Social Security, and Medicare and the interest on our national debt. And that number has just increased dramatically with the trillions of dollars the federal government has just thrown at the economy to support it because of the pandemic. If you look back, we are at historically low tax rates in this country right now, even though it doesn't necessarily feel like it. And there is precedence in the not so distant past for higher rates. So the point is if taxes increase in the future, this may be as good as it gets for quite some time. And it may cost more in the future um, in taxes to do conversions. So we obviously can't be sure what exactly will happen. So the point is, why not have some tax deferred money for retirement as well as some tax free money? It builds a lot of flexibility in your planning. And we believe that not only is it important to diversify your investments from an asset allocation perspective, but it's equally as important to diversify your retirement savings from a tax perspective. So if you'd like to discuss Roth conversions in greater detail and see if it's a strategy that makes sense for you, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Above all else, be well and stay safe.